I forgot I had the cell timer on, so it just flashed in my eye for 10 seconds. And I think I'm blind now. Hi. Hello. I have COVID. So this is the video for the week because it has been rough. Yesterday, I felt so sick and so tired. So I thought just because I didn't sleep very well or I was just really stressed out because I've I had a lot going on this week. So I was like, it's probably nothing. And then today I woke up and still felt really sick. So I s decided I should take a test just to be safe because it's always good to be cautious because COVID is still a thing, especially now, like I'm on campus. I'm at a, I'm at a college. <laughs> That's my cat over there attacking my chair. Can you stop? just fell off the chair for a second anyways um oh, i'm really zoomed in now i don't even know what i was saying now i, I took a test today and it was positive <laughs> so today meaning wednesday i know this video you're watching on saturday by the time this video comes out i should be getting close to the end of my isolation because it kind of goes off from symptoms a bit too they say even if it's been five days which is what the recommendation is now it's five days quarantine five days wearing a mask whatever even after the isolation period if you still have symptoms i recommend that you still isolate so i have no idea what's going on but i had two big assignments i need to do tomorrow in my classes and i don't know what i'm doing now because I, I can't go to, i can't go to class i'm very stressed out But at least I have company, right? I mean, that's good. I'm not, not too worried. I am dead inside. And I did just go shopping, like, three days ago. <laughs> I definitely did not plan to have COVID, but I do. But it could be worse, you know? I, I'm, I'm at least one of the lucky people that are not at a high risk, like elderly, el like elderly people or people with a weakened immune system. I will be okay. And and it most likely will be like a flu or a cold for a couple of days and then I'll be fine and then I can go back to my normal activities after the isolation period is up but it's kind of still kind of scary even if even though COVID has been around a lot longer now it's still scary to get it um I've only had COVID once I think and it wasn't even like technical because I didn't even get tested for it everyone in my house had COVID when I was at home and I just figured that I had it I had symptoms and I was literally around people that were diagnosed with COVID everyone else in my house had been diagnosed with it so I was like what's the point of wasting a test I definitely have it <laughs> and this is the first time I've actually been like tested positive for COVID and it's also kind of lucky that I went this long without getting in as much as I did I guess as well so that's great as well called my mom freaking out earlier didn't really know what I was supposed to do hadn't kept up with the CDC recommendations because I, I you don't really look at that stuff unless you have COVID I didn't even really know what the protocol was that much other than I knew you had to quarantine but I wasn't really sure about specifics so it made me freak out even more than I already was so Look at my kitty. So I hope you enjoy this update that I have next week. Oh, next, uh, I'll just keep talking. Next week I'm posting an actual video, video that will be fun and uh, wacky. I have to wait and see about that one. I filmed it, I edited some of it, but I haven't really had time to really sit down and finish editing it because yesterday I was dying. And even today, I still feel really sick. I figured it's better to just give an update because this is something that's I feel pretty somewhat crucial that's happening right now. You know, after I recover and start feeling better, I can actually start editing the video for next week. This just kind of really sucks. I keep thinking about all the things I needed to do for this week, especially tomorrow, Thursday. I have so many things I need to do, like in class. I can do assignments, online or whatever but like things i need to do like in the class i, I can't exactly do that just want to take a nap i feel like i've slept so much today the thing is with covid there's so many different symptoms you can get a lot of people i heard get like a cough or a runny nose or like a sore throat for me i'm getting bad flu symptoms so like being cold 
chills, nausea, bathroom problems. Um, not fun. I don't know if I would prefer having cold symptoms though because I absolutely hate when I have like a sore throat. I feel like I can't ever eat anything and just drinking water is so hard. Like my throat feels so gross and drinking water just feels so gross. So it's really hard for me to stay hydrated and I hate when I have like a stuffy nose or a runny nose. So honestly, I think I prefer flu symptoms over cold symptoms. I'm kind of glad that they're more like flu symptoms, but at the same time, it's still really exhausting because I am so tired. The littlest of things is so hard. Before I got tested yesterday, I had to walk to a meeting. It was like a five minute walk maybe across campus. When I got there, I was so out of breath. I felt like I was gonna pass out. I mean, and all I did was walk like five minutes, a very normal thing that I've done many times. And it just felt like so much work to do. My body is like running on like, I guess half of the energy it normally is. I literally just took a nap like an hour ago. So I have like a little bit more energy now. I literally slept in until like, 8 30 almost 9 o'clock today i have not slept in that late in the longest time and it's not even like i went to bed that late i fell asleep at like 10 o'clock i'm not gonna do the math right now of how many hours that is but i bet it's a lot i promise i'm not gonna throw up on camera so don't worry about that covid really sucks and it really sucks that it's still around i don't think it's ever going to leave i just hope i don't go insane these next five days by myself and literally can't leave the apartment I mean, that's about it. Um, if you have COVID or you had COVID very recently, um, I'm sorry. And I hope you get better or feel better already because I feel crappy. COVID can be, a, for some people, like absolutely no symptoms or very mild stuff like a sore throat. Or for others, they feel like they're dying and losing all of their fluid for like a week. And I really hope it doesn't get that bad because I've, I've definitely been more sick in my life. I don't feel like I'm at the sickest I've ever been in my entire life. So I'm basically just gonna watch a lot of Netflix and YouTube, edit this video real quick, and eat some chicken noodle soup because I actually have stuff that I keep stocked up in my apartment that I bought like way back. So basically just crackers, soup, and ginger ale that I, I have in my apartment in case I ever get sick. Because if you ever get sick, you don't want to go to the store. Like after you get sick, you don't want to do that. So you want that stuff already here. So if you're, if you don't do that, I highly recommend stock up on like stuff you, that helps you when you're sick with like a cold and like the flu. So like for flu stuff, like stomach aches, I got soup and ginger ale and like crackers and have like toast as well for like or bread so that you can make toast have that as well and, and like peanut butter is very um gentle on the stomach and also has like protein in it and for like a cold like have tea even if you don't drink tea because i absolutely hate tea like like i like iced tea with like sugar and stuff but like i don't drink hot tea when you're sick and you have a sore throat you will want tea <laughs> even if it's something you drink like one cup when you have a sore throat and you literally force it down your throat it at least will help for that one time you have a sore throat and you will be thankful that you got tea and with the tea you know you can get sugar and honey like i did but you could even make tea without that stuff <sighs> and and have like medicine <laughs> like cold medicine and and like not like flu medicine, but um, like Pepto-Bismol if you want to have that. I took Pepto-Bismol once in my life and it made me throw up. And, and, and in the end, I did feel a little bit better. But it's literally supposed to make you not throw up, it's supposed to help you not throw up. And it actually says if you do throw up to like contact someone, like it's not good if you throw up after taking it. So it was kind of concerning that I did that. But then again, it, it, I did feel a little bit better. But I decided I'm not going to take Pepto-Bismol again because of that. But yeah, this is also based off from you. What you take when you're sick and what you like to have. Even if it's just like comfort items. Like my stomach upset, I like putting a heating pad on it. So it doesn't even have to be food or drinks. Just things that you like to have when you're sick. Have it stocked up and ready to go. Even before you're sick. Especially during like the winter time when you know 
flu season and cold season is coming or like if you get sick regularly at a certain time like I feel like I do be stocked up before that happens because I got really sick one time with like cold symptoms and I didn't have any cold medicine so I had to force myself to go to the store go inside and get cold medicine this was before COVID was even a thing there's something about being sick that your energy level is gone and you feel like you're constantly out of breath like I was like <laughs> like today walking to my meeting uh, not today like yesterday walking to my meeting it was like the simplest thing but it was so hard to do that's what it was like last time when I went to the store to get medicine it was so hard and I legit thought I was gonna like pass out in the grocery store so get that shit beforehand because when you really are sick you do not want to go to the store count on yourself because sometimes it's the only person you can count on that's my little update I'm not gonna talk much longer so I will see you next Saturday with a much better video i promise you'll have to wait to see what it is stay safe and healthy unlike me thanks for watching i wasn't blowing kisses i don't know what i was doing but i'm gonna go with it bye